TT5 billion dollars was allocated to the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services to achieve the initiatives of the ministry. Line Minister Donna Cox said while the ministry provides social services and assistance, there is a whole of government approach to assist the poor and vulnerable with programs from other ministries like funding for the Adult Literacy Tutors Association to expand remedial education, strengthening the technical and vocational education component of our school system, providing book and uniform grants to students in need, continuing support for the school feeding program while providing guaranteed markets for local farmers and the return of the food box initiative, plus continuing to sustain existing public assistance programs. While contributing to the debate last October in the Senate, Minister of Social Development and Family Services Donna Cox highlighted that even with the senior citizens' pension grants, the elderly in society are still recognized under the ministry's National Centenarian Program. In fiscal 2023, the ministry recognized 81 centenarians. And this program was launched in 2021 as part of the ministry's commemoration of International Day of Older Persons. Older persons who have attained the age of 100 years and over are recognized, honored, and celebrated. As at September 2023, there were 111,735 senior citizens in receipt of the senior citizen's pension, and of this figure, 9,814 persons were added to the database as new beneficiaries in fiscal 2023. When it comes to food support, as at September 2023, there were 17,235 households or clients receiving food support. The total expenditure on food support grants as at September 2023 amounted to approximately 132,679,422 dollars. Making their services more accessible was also a priority of the ministry in the last fiscal year. We at the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services are aware of the number of persons who rely on our services and have committed to digitize and simplify our processes and procedures so that our clients can access our services with less challenges. The minister said doing this would not only deliver more efficient services to their clients, but also close any gaps or loopholes which may enable corruption, fraud and error. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TDT News.